Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stefan de Groot, an illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can color a comic or an illustration in Procreate. I'm also on Patreon and one of my patrons uh, asked a question. Shading is what I really want to learn. Flattening and how and when to use alpha lock. I'm still not getting my head around it. Thanks. So thanks uh, Bonnie Jones for supporting me on uh, Patreon. I really appreciate it. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use the alpha lock, but also uh, the reference layer for coloring and the alpha lock to do your shading. So I've made this illustration in Procreate and I just build it up with a, a sketch layer and also an ink layer. And if you want to color this quick, you can use the drop uh, color tool. And to make that work and to make your colors on a separate layer, you first need to select a new layer with the plus sign and then drag it underneath your ink layer. And what you can do is you can, of course, you know, ink within your ink layer, but you know, for this tutorial, it's better to uh, have your colors on a separate layer. And I'm going to use the reference layer to color this image. So I'm going to tap on the ink layer and then select reference. Then everything that's underneath is a reference to this ink layer. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the drop color and I'm gonna select the color layer. I'm just gonna name it color so that I you know that I am on the color layer. And now I can drop in the colors. So she has blonde hair. So what you can do is drop in your color. And then when you check it, you can see that only the color, and I'm going to deselect the sketch layer, that you only uh, see the color on your color layer and not in your ink reference layer. And in this way, you can, you know, very quickly color a comic. And best way, you know, to color it uh, the bright way is to change the background color because it's now white and her shirt's going to be white. So I need another color, uh, a different color that's not in the character. Um, I'm just going to use this dark blue. And now I can, you know, you always have to have your uh, color layer selected. So now I can... Um, color the other parts. So just going to time lapse this. And sometimes um, the part is too small to use the color drop. So what you can do is, of course, you know, just, you know, ink it. And especially with uh, things like this, you know, that there are uh, a lot of lines, you can just uh, draw behind it. I'm going to select a uh, blue color for this. And I'm going to color the lamp post as well. Give it a little bit of a green color.
especially for the smaller parts you know you can just use your brush and color it in That's why I'm using a, a colored background so that you, you know, can see if there are some gaps missing. And these are the flats and oh, I forgot the, the pavement. So these are the flats and what you can do is now you've uh, used your reference um, layer so you can turn it off by tapping on reference again and now you have the colors and what you can do is to uh, make shades within uh, the colors. You can change the layer to an alpha lock layer and you can do that by tapping on alpha lock or you can uh, swipe with two fingers to the right and then your layer becomes an alpha lock layer and what you now can do is um, color within this layer so if you want to have some cell shading or some some simple shading in your image you can just select a color and then drag it down and then draw in the darker color or the darker shade of the color. And you know, when I go over it, you know, it doesn't paint because the alpha lock keeps the shape in place. So that's a good way to, you know, do some shading, some simple cell shading in Procreate using the alpha lock layer. And maybe do the hair, have it a little bit of a different color, a little bit more red. That's a little bit too strong. And maybe some light uh, blue in the, the shirt she's uh, wearing. And the great thing about using alpha lock is that you don't go over uh, the lines. Well, within the image, but not uh, outside the image. So you can keep your shades pretty strong. There's also another way and that's the quickest way of doing some shading. And I'm just going to select a new layer. I'm going to set it to multiply. What you then can do is use this layer and just paint with gray tones. I'm just gonna show it uh, with doing the, the lamppost. So when you're now painting with grays, because it is set to multiply, you won't affect the, the color layer. So you can just draw on the separate layer and just do your shading this way. And the lighter it becomes, the lighter the shading becomes. And this is one of the, the fastest way of to, to do your shading. 
if you're doing comics or illustrations like this, where there's a lot of line art. Set this a little bit darker. And now uh, I'm drawing outside the box. Um, another thing you can do if you uh, still want to use the alpha lock, I'm just going to deselect this. I'm going to throw away this uh, layer or I'm just going to uh, turn it off. What you can do is duplicate this layer and then I'm just going to turn off the ink layer just to show you, these are uh, all the, the colors that are done. But when you want to apply uh, some shading to the color layer underneath, the best way uh, is to um, color this with a very big brush. And there is a very big brush in the painting section, which is called Nico Rule. Um, or maybe even better, the, the airbrush. The uh, soft brush is very big, I think. Yeah, it's the biggest brush. And then, you know, you can just paint everything in white. And because it's still on alpha lock, you can set this layer to multiply. Then turn on your color layer again. And now you can paint with, I'm just going to turn on the ink layer as well. And now you can paint with grays as well with and using the alpha lock. That's, I have to use this uh, brush because the other one is way too big. So you can still, you know, now outside and it's not picking up because I'm now using the alpha lock. And it wasn't really white I painted. So when I now paint with pure white, I can do some highlights as well. So these are some tricks, you know, to do some quick shading using uh, the alpha lock. And to color uh, your illustration or comic in a fast way. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. There are three different tiers and for the $5 tier, uh, you also get the extended uh, video tutorials and also the custom brushes I made and a PSD file of the image I have painted. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.